Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today, I would like to introduce you to the Empire Heavy Duty Magnum High Visibility 12 inch Rafter Square and the Empire 7 inch High Visibility Rafter Square. Both of these Rafter Squares are made of thick blue aluminum and are laser etched with white markings. The markings are permanent and high definition. The guides feature increased width for extra safety when cutting deck boards. These speed squares are made in the USA. You can see the difference in visibility when you put one next to a standard silver colored speed square. These are two tools that are constantly used on an everyday basis by carpenters. Here we are drawing a line on a rotted fascia board that needs to be replaced. After the line is drawn, we use the extra wide guide to guide our circular saw to make a very straight 90 degree cut. Since the new fascia board is 2x10 material, we will use the 12 inch high visibility speed square. It makes a very nice 90 degree marking and then you just slide it over to use it as a guide for your circular saw. We cut both ends of this new 2x10 so that we would have nice fresh cuts. Here with the circular saw unplugged, we are using the 7 inch speed square to check to make sure that our circular saw blade is 90 degrees. Here we are checking our cut to make sure it is also 90 degrees. Notice on the 12 inch rafter square there are notches in a cutout on the square. These notches are in 1 quarter inch increments so if you would like to rip your board just put your marker in the appropriate notch and slide your speed square along the edge of your board. Now let's make a common rafter. A common rafter is one that goes from the ridge beam to the top plate of the wall and then it can extend to create an eave. Notice that there is an arrow on the speed square for the common rafter settings. Say your blueprints are telling you to make your roof at a 412 pitch. That means that you are to have 4 inches rise for every 12 inches of run for your roof. First, we will make what is called a plumb cut. This is the cut that butts up on your ridge rafter of your roof. This cut should be plumb when installed. Notice on your speed square there is a table called common rafter conversion. The table says 4 equals 18.50 degrees. The 4 means a 412 slope. So you need to cut the end of your rafter 18 and a half degrees. Notice on the speed square there is a point called a pivot point. Put this pivot point in the upper corner of the end of the rafter that you're going to cut. Keeping this pivot point stable, rotate your speed square clockwise until the edge of the board lines up with the 4 on the common rafter scale and the 18 and a half degrees mark on the degrees scale. Draw your line. Let's say this rafter needs to be 4 foot long and have a 16 inch eave. Measure 48 inches and 16 inches. Now let's make the seat notch. Make another 18 and a half degree line starting at the 48 inch mark which is the length of our common rafter. Draw the line. Now measure up one and a half inches to accommodate the 2x4 top plate. Align the dash mark on the rafter square with the line that you just drew. Slide the rafter square to the one and a half inch mark and make a 90 degree line to finish drawing the seat notch. Now let's draw the end of the rafter eave. Once again, we draw the line at 18 and a half degrees. Now I'll make all the cuts with the circular saw. Here you see we have the plumb cut, the seat notch, and the eave cut. This is a hip rafter and this is a valley rafter. This is the hip and valley scale on the Empire rafter square. Both the 7 inch and the 12 inch rafter squares come with excellent manuals that carefully describe how to make these rafters. Also, the 7 inch rafter square has a QR code on the back of it 
so that you can download the manual to your smartphone. Now let's meet the stars of the show, all of which you can find links for in my video description. The Empire Model E3992 12-inch rafter square, the Empire Model E2994 7-inch true blue laser etched rafter square, the Empire Model E2992 rafter square, which is a couple dollars less than the E2994, the Milwaukee Sawzall and the Milwaukee Torch Blades with which we cut all the nails going from our plywood to the fascia boards and the Milwaukee M18 Brushless and Cordless Sawzall. Thank you. I hope this video was helpful. So that's good. Mm -hmm.